What's up legends? Today we are Pokemon card hunting for the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Now this is probably the most uh, sought after product of the year. So I don't know. I don't know how hard it's going to be to find in stores. Now we often do try and uh, visit our stores right on the restock day. So there is a good chance we also find it pretty quickly if we played our cards right. So we'll find out. Today we're going to start out at Target. Now it does appear that we got a restock, but I'm not seeing it. Let's just double check, make sure they didn't put it in the back toy section. I actually do have some stuff back here. They even have Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon, interestingly enough. But I don't see the Ultra Premium Collection. Well, no luck at our first store. Let's go check out Walmart next. All right, what do we have here? I mean, I'm not seeing it here either. All right, well, let's check in the toy section here too. Yeah, I'm not seeing hardly anything here. Man, still no luck even at the second store, but we do have another Walmart to check out next. Let's see if they have it. Yeah, good bit of stuff here, but obviously not seeing the UPC. Yeah, still nothing in the front. In the back, it does appear that we got a restock today, but yeah, I'm not seeing the UPC. Well guys, no luck at Walmart. And what I didn't mention before is today is actually Thursday. So the day before the official release day of the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Um, now, you know, I've seen actually a bunch of people finding it early, um, as early as Wednesday this week. Uh, so I thought we had a good chance of finding it today, but I guess not. I guess we'll have to continue the hunt tomorrow for the Charizard UPC. Let's go. All right, Legends, let's continue the hunt. I think we're going to check out Target first to see if we got a restock yet. Let's go. Nothing so far at Target, but I think we'll check out GameStop over here next. All right, we're just waiting for GameStop to open up. It doesn't appear that there's anybody in line so far. I don't see anybody lurking in their cars, but there very well might be. Um, I guess I'm the lurker today. But anyway, once it opens up, we'll go in there and see if they have any, or you know, it's also possible that the only ones that they have are for people who pre-ordered it. So we'll find out. Uh, the Ultra Premium collection in for the Pokemon set? For the Charizard? Yeah. Let's see if I can sell this one. Okay. Alright, Legends. We secured the bag. I want to take a quick look at this. This thing is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty massive. Alright. There you have it. Well, guys, let's go back home. We're going to open this thing up. All right, Legends. Well, I'm super excited to open up the Charizard Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection with you guys today. And by the way, I hope you were able to find one on your hunts today or this weekend uh, if you haven't already pre-ordered it. Uh, so yeah, super excited that we did find it at GameStop and we are going to see what's inside. But real quick, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I invite you to come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. But let's get into our opening today. All right, let's take a look at this beast right here. Pretty cool. All right, you can kind of see that it's got actually a really nice texture on it too. Definitely a reason they call it premium. Very similar to the Ultra Premium Collection for celebrations. Oh, nice, got that fire breathing dragon right there 
And I think if it's anything like the other one, probably they have little drawers, maybe. Okay, this must be the play mat. Take a quick look at that. Wow, pretty crazy. Pretty cool one to play with. All right, then we got our little drawers right here. Oh man, this is exciting. I don't even know what to, to do first. All right, well, in this drawer right here, have some sleeves, looking pretty cool. Ooh, we got some gold, white and gold, poison and burn counters. Some more gold dice, love those. And this one here, I think this is what we're probably most excited about, what most people are most excited about. We have our promo cards. Pretty sure they're all in this one little plastic thing here. Let's uh, let's get them out of here, take a better look. Oh man, gotta be very, very careful here. First one, we have the Sleepy Charizard. Looking really nice, I love that it's textured. The V, you know, not the best centering ever. Yikes, pretty bad. <laughs> looking on the back there but just an epic card you got a Venusaur in the background there you can see and you have to let me know what you think in the comments below is this the aftermath of the battle between Venusaur and Charizard or is this um, kind of before the battle is is uh, Venusaur getting ready to attack Charizard maybe he thinks that Charizard is burning down his forest I've seen this debated a little bit online, so I'm curious to know you guys' thoughts. It's really cool that these cards have a little bit of a story behind it. All right, that's our first one. The crazy thing is that this, this little product has three promo cards in it. And out of the three, I mean, this one is pretty sweet. It's kind of a more superior version of the Charizard VMAX from Darkness of Blaze. Definitely cool, but probably my least favorite out of all of them. I, I do like it, but uh, yeah, probably the most generic one out of all of them, in my opinion, at least compared to the other one. All right, and then probably my favorite one out of all of these, I mean, seeing it in person for the first time, yeah, this one. This one is super cool. I just love the art style on this one. And I think we got a decently centered one too, it looks like. Yeah, obviously you got this really unique angle. It kind of feels like they're in like a canyon and this is like the above view of Charizard battling Mewtwo right there. I know pretty soon we're gonna see the other perspective of this from Mewtwo's point of view in the Mewtwo V-Star alternate art. It's gonna be in the, uh, the upcoming Japanese holiday set and I think we'll be seeing it in the English version as well probably. Wow, but what a great card. I really like this one, especially with those silver borders. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is, isn't this our first V-Star alternate art? Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, the centering's not too bad on that one. It's not perfect, but really great. Like I said, this one, I think this one's my favorite out of the three. All right. Of course, those are just only a few of the goodies in this little box here. We still got a lot of other stuff. Of course, a typical V-Star counter. Ooh, a metal coin featuring Charizard V-Max, I think. Oh yeah, you can kind of see his head there. It's a little bit hard to make out. And we have our packs in here. Let's see what all comes in here and how many packs we get. We'll go ahead and get this out of the way. Kind of has a little magnetic seal like that. Just a really cool little box like that. All right, as far as packs go, looks like we have 16 all together. You can see we got Darkness of Blaze here. I don't know if that's the only Darkness of Blaze. Got Vivid Voltage. Got three Fusion Strike. Three Evolving Skies, very nice. Uh, two Lost Origin. Looks like three Astral Radiance and three Brilliant Stars. Now these are some solid packs. We don't even have Battle Styles in here or Chilling Rain. Um, I'm not complaining about that. Now, I personally don't love these two packs right here. I might not open these 
we'll see. Um, although you just never know if you're gonna get the rainbow chunk of chew. I don't know, I'll have to decide on those two, but we'll definitely open up the rest of these here today. Oh man, so many good ones, what do we start with? I think Astral Radiance and Fusion Strike might be kind of the, uh, the lesser of all of these, so let's uh, start out with those. And here we go. Let's pull that alt art Espeon or Gengar today. Okay, dang, a white code card. That's not usually a good thing. It's electric. Helio, uh, Heliolisk. Sharpedo. Quick Ball. Ooh, Aerokudo. Gumi. Panseer. Cryogunk. Mankey Reverse Nine Tails and Cloister. No surprises there. Okay, these code cards are backwards. One, two, three, four. Got the leaf. Stuffle. Sizzlepede. Lapras Reverse. Oh, nice. Okay, we actually did get a hit. The Full Art Sydney, not too bad. Let's go with that hit right there. And of course, we want to display these up there as well. All right, let's go with one more Fusion Strike. Another code card. And I think the last one was white as well. So maybe that, maybe they don't actually matter. I can't really remember this for the set. Whoops, that was too many. Shoot, okay, what did we do here? Let's try that again. All right, hopefully we got that right. Okay, there we go with the darkness. Marsh Stomp. La Punny. Skaters Park. Carbona.com, not affiliated. Rotom, Grubbin, Mantine, Meltan, and a hollow Melmetal. Not, not terrible. All right, let's go on to Astral Radiance. A set that I like just a little bit better than Fusion Strike. Go ahead and get that Machamp today. Ooh, let's pull some fire. Uxy, Energy, Lotto, Hisuian, Overquill, Basculin, Voltorb, Cricketot, Petalil, Reverse, Regilecki, and Miss Magius. There you go. V Star, Crenados, Golduck, Switchcart, Sneasel, Mischievous, Barboach, Scyther, Eevee, Spicy Season Curry, and Ursaluna. Starting out with the Psychic Heavy Ball, Perugly, Feather Ball, Eevee, nice artwork there, Heracross. Teddy Ursa, Mantine, Scyther, nice. Okay, we got Mightyena, Character Rare. We'll definitely take that, nice to see one. And ending off with Darkrai V, okay. Okay, now before we move on to our packs, uh, the rest of our packs here, we actually do have some mail to open up here from Whatnot. Whatnot is the app featuring live streamed auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some pretty great deals. Let's see what deals we got today. And you wanna make sure that you check my link in the description below to get a $10 credit towards your purchase on Whatnot. Sometimes we can get a feel for what we're expecting here. Looks like we paid two bucks, five bucks and 19 bucks for this set of cards here. Nice, they threw in a little extra as well. Uh, they threw in an extra trick or trade pack, which we're gonna save, give out on Halloween. All right, first of all, we got a car looking light play here. Misty's Wrath for one of the gym sets. Very nice. Looks like we got maybe a lot here. Bunch of cards in this lot. Pseudo Widow. Larvitar. Sorry, there's a really loud car in the outside right now. Got a Murkrow. 
unknown, very cool. From Neo Discovery, Remoraid, Igly Buff, and that's it for that lot. Always love to get some some nice uh, vintage cards. Now this one, yikes, this one has had a big crease on it. I really hope that this is not one that I, I hope this is one that they threw in because I do not ever buy cards like this. What? Oh, shoot. Yikes, I did not order. I know, I mean, I, I think I remember ordering this, but I know that the one I ordered did not have a big crease on it. Okay, well, that's a little disappointing. Yeah, might have to kind of talk to support about that one because that's pretty, pretty atrocious. Now, I will say it's something that doesn't really happen very often. So that's good. And this one also got a big crease on it as well. Okay, we have Alakazam, base set two. Okay, now actually, I think this one was the one that I ordered. I still didn't know it had a crease on it though. It's a little disappointing because it is very nice. It's got that little swirl in there. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we do about that. It's always an adventure with whatnot. So let's get back into our packs. I think I have decided I'm not gonna open Darkness Ablaze, but I'm just kind of curious about Vivid Voltage. You just never know. Probably is not going to be worth it, but hey, it's another pack to open. If you're new here, I just don't really like this set that much. I don't really feel like there's any good, great chase in it. Not a big fan of the, uh, the rainbow Pikachu, but then again, if we pulled it, it would be pretty cool. And of course, we didn't. That's all right. All right, what have we got left here? Evolving Skies, might have to save that for last. Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars. Hmm. I don't know, maybe we'll have to save Brilliant Stars for last, I don't know. But let's do Lost Origin. I think that'll be a fun one to do as we transition here. Like that one did not open very smoothly, unfortunately. Oh, I see something peeking back there though. Okay, there's your code card. Let's see what we have in store. Energy, Bronzong, Colress's Experiment, Porygon 2, Shalos Mean Fu, Litleo, Ghastly, Ducklet, got Reverse Arc Phone, and. Okay, Drapian V Star. Not what I was hoping for, but not horrible. Another. It's electric, boogie woogie woogie. Cedra, Pikachu, Jinx, Litwick, Oddish, Love Disc, Hoopa, and Malamar. Okay. Got one hit from Lost Origin, not horrible, but. Let's hope we get something good from Brilliant Stars. We are actually chasing that non-promo alternate art Charizard still. Could today be the day that we finally pull them from this set of all, of this box of all things would be perfect. All right, Darkness, Monferno, Cafe Master, Vibrava, Riolu, Cherubi, Sock, Burmy, Staryu, Shroomish, and nothing. Well, didn't mean to show that, but it's a black code card, so it's a good sign. Could use some good hits right now. Fracture, Fear Tick, Monferno, Electabuzz, Bidoof. Sneasel, Grimer, Execute, Chimshar Reverse, and Flygon. The uh, full art. Yeah, just a full art. Not quite what we're looking for. But hey, we're getting some, a decent amount of hits. Not, not terrible. All right. Brilliant Stars again. Last of our Brilliant Stars packs. Let's get that Charizard. All right, let's pull some fire 
Fracture, whoops. Beavile, Friends of Galar, the Weasel, Halucha, Electabuzz, Bidoof, Clefairy, Corefish, and Raichu V. Okay, I do like Raichu, so glad to see him. All right, guys, we are in the home stretch here. We have three Evolving Skies packs. Looking to pull that Umbreon. I guess we ought to save that one for last. Couldn't we do it? Also looking to pull that Dragonite. Don't know what's going on with this pack. It's not really opening in a normal way. There we go. Yeah, and these uh, co-cards are kind of backwards, so there's that. That's the best way to reveal it without showing what it what the uh, color is. All right, here we go, guys. Who we have? Psychic Energy, Scrafty, Lucky Ice Pop, Lombre, Cryogonal, Zerua, Swablu, Hopip, Wobbuffet, Tropius, and. Hollow Victini. There's your code. Let's pull some fire. Eevee, Psyduck, Temple, Woobat, Dano, and Gorgeist, non hollow rare. Jeez, okay. Well, onto our last pack. Let's hope we can get some last pack magic to end off the opening. Again, that opened very strangely. Code for you. All right, guys. Starting off with the Fighting Energy, Crystal Keg, Earth String, Scrafty, Nicket, Cryogonal, Teddy Ursa, Lotad, Simba, Reverse, Scroll of the Flying Dragon, and to end off the opening, we have just a non hollow Drampa. But that's all right, because we all know that the main reason we open up the UPC is for these amazing alt art cards right here. Check out one of these videos on screen for more Pokemon card hunts and openings. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you, and we do too. I'll catch you next time.